Good evening and welcome back once again. Now if you watched the last match you would have seen a nil-nil. Obviously a disappointing result for ourselves. It was against the second place team Lagani so it was a bit of a six pointer. Not losing is kind of a good result in a way. It was a tough match but we really wanted to push ahead and try and get close to that uh, number one spot in the league. But we're going to jump in, we're playing Ibiza today, who are a little bit further down the league, so we we'll really need to take advantage of playing one of the weaker teams in the league and getting those three points. Okay, so if we are going to mix things up today, we've actually uh, dropped the keeper just purely to rest him, and he's on a little bit of a downward condition of form. We're actually going to put Arcas up top just to change things up. Obviously, it hasn't quite been working the past few matches. I'm going to try him up there. I'm going to put Pierre on the left, keep Carlos Perez on the right, keep the usual Herrera and Fabio Vieira in uh, midfield with Hedge just protecting the back four. So yeah, let's jump in. Let's let's hope those changes make a difference. Obviously, we can bring Xerxes back in if we need an impact off the bench. But yeah, let's just jump in. Yeah, it was a bit of a big decision dropping Xerxes for Arcas. Um, I just feel like it isn't quite working and I don't want to force it. So let's change thing up, things up. Arcus has done well every time we've played him up top. Let's hope he bags a goal today. And like I said, we are playing one of the weaker teams in the league. That doesn't mean it's going to be a walkover, but... You know, you've got to be picking up three points in these matches if you want to, to get promoted. Um got to play better than we have been recently that's not a good start but what you've got to remember as well is two seconds while I uh, just get rid of this you've got to remember that we are starting with the you know the original lineup which is difficult and yes we made some decent signings but we've still got that core group of players that technically are not the best and therefore we've got a, a limited you know when you want players to make changes you've got a very limited selection of quality players that you can bring on and also the team spirit as well now what tends to be the case of whoever you start with the team spirit is normally down and as you play matches and as you get wins and over time that team spirit will raise and it does make a big difference on how the team plays um so over time that will increase and we'll get better just naturally from that. Even with the same set of players we would get better. Especially if we're playing the same sort of core group of players mainly. Bjer. Oh good save. Just a nice snapshot there. Oh Vieira just loses out. Wins it back though. Bjer. Oh just wide. It was on his weaker foot. It was behind him but... Nice effort. Not going to watch that one though. Yeah, I, I hope Vieira especially can hit a bit of form. I can't rely on him, but he was just so instrumental when the, at the beginning of the season he was either assisting or scoring pretty much most of the goals or having some sort of impact in, on the goal. Um, and I would say that hasn't been happening anywhere near as much. It's, it's pretty fair to say. Oh, and there's a tap in. There we go. Carlos Perez. Bajer with another assist. I think he must be our leading assister in probably both the league and the cup. Um, but yeah, nice play. Arcas plays it through. Was patient. Played it uh, through the defence and uh, Perez with a, a fairly easy tap in. So a decent start, you know, less than midway through the first half and we've got a goal. So we can relax a little bit. Just don't make any stupid mistakes. Keep pressing. Go for that second goal. But yeah, maybe the pressure's taken off a little bit because of that. Of course, Perez wasn't into trouble there. Nice block. I'm trying to think where the best place to improve the squad would be because clearly we need to... I mean, certainly the defence is 
it's it's pretty terrible if I'm gonna be honest the whole of the back four the goalkeeper's great he's been a magnificent signing but the actual defense the back the back four Ugh. what did I say it's a well worked goal um, but we could not get near them how haven't the tackled there bounces off one player bounces off another lovely finish I'm not going to watch the second replay of that um, shouldn't really skip them but uh, yeah that's frustrating and we're back to square one again that's that's the trouble we've had that a few times the defence has let us down quite substantially so I probably taught myself round to it anyway we probably it's probably the defence that we do need to to improve first of all ah a bit unlucky there Um. Now the problem is with a back line is you need four at least decent players. You know, proven just one central defender say yes it will improve you, but it's those other ones that are fairly average to say the least. They're they're gonna make mistakes, they're not gonna be able to make tackles, they're not gonna be strong enough, they're not gonna be quick enough. Um attacking players are slightly different, you know, one player can make a massive impact. So yeah, we'll probably have a look at defence, what we can make. And again, we might not be able to sign anyone in January. We'll have to wait and see, but... That's a poor pass from Hedge there. Should have been able to get it through to Arcas. Good save. That is terrible defending. Just so much space. Nice play there from um, Herrera. Oh, nice play from Vieira. Arcas. Oh, straight at the keeper pretty much, but linking up well. Again, it's nearly half time. The halves are flying by, I think, when I'm when I'm not winning. The halves are flying by with the opportunities that I'm you know, not getting all. Walkas. Vieira. Of course, it hits the defender. It always does. That should be half time. It is. So, 1 1. Bit disappointing. Yeah, and the stats, um, not as impressive as we normally are stats-wise, even though, that, like I say, never tells the full story. It's the score that counts, really. But, yeah, possession not as high. They had a couple of chances. Let's jump in the second half. Yeah, so that's, that's the, been the story of lately. Just, um, I'd say, more defensive mix-ups than anything. Poor defensive work in recent times oh that was lovely play but the last little pass from Orcas it was a nice attempt but just a little bit heavy and um, what's that is that free kick to that's uh, to them I mean that was like that was ages ago can't play on from there I know what would make a diff big difference if we had a really good out and out defensive midfielder. Um, I know we've got people that can play there, but um, if we had Herrera, Vieira, and then a really, really good defensive midfielder, that might protect the back four a little bit more and improve our midfield certainly. Vieira 
There's not much space to work with. Arcas! Oh, Decent effort. Decent effort. Yeah, we're going to make some subs. As soon as this goes off, we'll uh, make some substitutions. Managed to keep a hold of it and play it on as well. Carlos Perez. No. Well, I'll tell what, we'll make the subs now. They're obviously not going to come on straight away. And what we will do is we are going to bring Xerxy back on. We're going to put Arcos out left. We're going to take Bajer off just because he is a little bit tired. And we are going to bring Fabio Vieira off. It's a big decision, but uh, Castledean is on and up, so... Let's try that out. You know, remember at the start of the season and I had a couple of good results in, in a row and I thought about upping the difficulty, which I still may do in the future. Um, but I do remember saying at the time, like, I bet you it won't be this easy all the time. You know, even if I don't up the difficulty, something will happen and I'll just have... Oh! And there it is! He's got his second. Oh, thought I had missed the chance there with the first one. Of course the defender blocked it. Got a little bit fortunate with the rebound. Need a little bit of luck. Nice pass. Good save, actually. Sorry, I thought I hit the defender. Nice tap in. Again, well whipped by Bajer, so just before going off, he's pretty much created the goal. Won't get an assist for it, because it, uh, it's come back off the keeper. And let's hope Zirkzy, I mean, it'd be really nice if, I mean, we need this win, but it'd be really nice if Zirkzy got a goal, find a bit of form. Because I wouldn't say he's been poor, he's just he's missed a lot of chances. And that's got to have an effect on you, your confidence. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, I don't know if that was unlucky or not, but they got away with that, really did. Argas back out wide. Didn't quite work from up top, but um, it's worth a try. Carlos Perez runs into trouble, but Xerxes managed to get the back. Because we're going to afford to hold the ball a little bit more now, rather than rushing to attack. That's poor from Argas, though. Good block. I really thought that was going to be another case of an equaliser. Just got the block in on time there. Just with the... Just the back of the calf there. Certainly wouldn't say it's a classic performance today, but if we can... Just hold on and pick up those three points, if we can. Good block. Just be a little bit more careful with the ball. Not sure what I'm there. I don't know why Cixi kind of seemed to go for a weird header. Um, ah, just behind Cixi. Decent effort. Aye, aye, aye. 
Don't know why I bother going for those shots. Got them penned in though. And that's it. We get the win. Very closely fought. A lot closer than I wanted it to be. But Carlos Perez on form getting a brace for ourselves. Yeah, and here are the ratings. Hetich, I mean, look at that, 4.5. Just what I was saying about defensive midfielder. He just offered no support. Something we really need to look at. But Carlos Perez, man of the match, really not a surprise with getting the two goals. Bajet, again, played well. And I would go as far to say as, well, I think probably sixes for Herrera, Vieira, and Arcas was about right. So he got a six. Not much he could do when he came on, but he, he had the ball a couple of times. He played some nice passes. Main thing was that we got the three points. And just looking at the standings again, Levante must have won because we're still four points behind, but we are in second spot now. One point above Lagones. They must have got a draw. You know, we're edging a little bit away from fourth spot. The top three go up. Love to get top spot, obviously. Still haven't had a loss, which is good. And by the way, we have had another couple of offers in. Grenville and Lagoida have had uh, full transfer offers in and we've accepted those. So we have increased the salary budget a little bit again. Obviously, there's quite a few players now to leave in January. So I think what we may do in January, assuming we can't sign too many players, we'll probably bring in maybe one or two youth players just to fill out the squad a little bit. But we'll check at that in January. And that win has come at a very good time. If you look at the bottom there, the next match is against top place Levante. So a massive, massive game. Obviously, we cannot afford to lose that one. Otherwise, they're going to pull away significantly. Let's give our fans something to cheer about and let's close that gap to one point on top spot. So hopefully you guys will join me for that one. If you did enjoy the video, uh, hit the like button below. Leave some comments as well. I do like interacting with you guys. And please join me for that top of the table clash next time. It should be a really good match. Cheers.